I think the drawer wouldn't open or close or something. I don't remember completely. I remember it worked if you got the drawer to close, but I don't remember if it wouldn't open or wouldn't close or both or something. Um, I remember I needed a part. I got the part, and I've just not gotten around to fixing it. What it is is a Laserdisc player. It's a Sony Laserdisc player. I have a Panasonic Laserdisc player, um, but uh, I kind of like this one. Even though the Panasonic has a little bit better picture quality, this one has more features, and uh, I like it for uh, playing CDs when I, and on the rare occasion that I play CDs. But I also like to have a backup laser display because obviously they're not made anymore, and uh, it's nice to have one. So I found this, and I found some of the parts, and we're going to see if we can get this to actually uh, get it back together. I think I found the screws for it. A bag of screws, and I, they look they look about right. So we're gonna try and put her back together and see if she'll fire up and see if she'll read a disc or if I even have all the parts. So let's find out. Everything looks like it's there. Um, looks like all the boards are still there. I think that there. Is the motor that controls where the drawer would come out? Everything else looks good, other than the, the massive amounts of cobwebs that are in there. But uh, cool. So here's the drawer. Um, it's pretty dusty, but it looks to me right here. There's the uh, this is the mechanism that actually the gear that spins the door that spins that pulls the door in and out. And here's the belt for the motor, and it looks like it's pretty tight. So it's, yeah, if I hold the motor solid, I can't move the gear. So. That's lucky, dude. This is free. Let's just put it all together and see what happens. See, that doesn't feel too good. <laughs> yeah, the, this here looks like the switch that tells it where it's at. I don't know what that is. I wish I could remember what the pro actual problem with this thing was, so I knew.
Well, I don't know what the problem was or why it took it apart in the first place. Maybe I, uh, maybe a disc and we'll try it out. Okay, got a disc. D3. The reason I choose this, chose this one is because it has a very bad case of laser rot. And that's, uh, kind of terminal. It's not exactly fixable, so I'll use this as a test disc. disc on a dirty surface like this or using it like this. Aha. Play. Here's play. It says it recognized the disc. It says disc. There's no note for it. Spinning. <coughs> okay, well, let's see if the motor's hooked up and everything. Oops. Again, don't care too much about that disc. Try and turn off the lights. I'm wondering if there's an optical sensor in there. And that's maybe what's causing it. Sensor, it's probably going to screw it up just as much, but that's all right. Let's try the other side. Maybe the laser rod has gotten so bad that it won't read it. I know it was only on side two.
Well, I'm gonna look around, see what I can come up with, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've been working on this for about an hour and a half. Um, and came to a couple conclusions. Uh, one of which is it, this needs a lot of lubrication. Um, this drawer does not slide in and out very easily. And this whole mechanism here, uh, when you do get it to move, it, it's very rough. So I'm, and also these gears. I bet you that was one of the original issues. I'm hoping it didn't burn the motor out. Or the motor's not too weak. Uh, but it seems to, with a little bit of help, get it, you know, pulls the tray in and out and lifts the mechanism up. I'm wondering if this whole thing just isn't coming up far enough for it to actually read or to trigger or something. Um, it has to go through its full cycle before it actually will start. I got these uh, gears lined up. If you notice on this one here, there's a cam on it, which coincides to a cam underneath here, as well as there's a gear underneath here. So when this reaches the end of its travel, which is right there. there I'll show you how to spin this. Sorry about my hand being in the way. So you spin this. And right about there, the drawer would be in all the way. Yeah, it's not good. And then at that point, notice it pulls that down and that whole mechanism raises right here. So the trick is to get these all in sync the way they need to be. And they get the tray in there at exactly the right tooth. And I did that. And then, uh, the switch broke. If you remember over here, take this off. Where is the bolt? If you remember over here, so maybe you don't remember, this switch was in here and it had another little lever so I could find it on my desk somewhere. Well, anyway, it had another lever just like this. And what would happen is when the tray would come out, it would push the other lever and they would short out. And that told the machine the drawer was all the way out and it would stop trying to push the drawer out. Well, got it to work and that thing broke. Um, it's just metal, so over the years of constantly being bent, it uh, broke. So I torn apart uh, every old tape deck I could find that wasn't worth anything, CD-ROMs, nothing. I can't find any that are like that, or actually any of those switches at all. So what I did is I just kind of, for the time being, rigged this up, just a wire and another wire with some solder on top of it to make a ball. And what happens when the drawer comes out of touch is it kind of works. I'd say it works about 70% of the time. Unfortunately, that's not good enough because every time it doesn't work, the gears fall out of alignment and i got to start from scratch. So, it uh, looks like this project's uh, going to be put on hold yet again.